Okay, so here's what I use for my chicken pesto. I cut up some chicken. You can use chicken breast or boneless, skinless chicken thighs, either one. Some extra virgin olive oil. A pesto pack. You're going to use two of these in all, but one to just marinate the chicken. Some garlic powder, onion powder, salt, paprika, black pepper, and some fresh garlic. Okay, so... First thing I do, I wash clean my chicken. I wash my hands really well. I have some bleach water over here to wipe everything down periodically. I do this all the time. This is how I cook in the kitchen. I'm just saying. So then, I just add a little bit of olive oil on the chicken so that my seasonings stick. a little bit more oil. You don't want it enough to fry the chicken, but you want it enough to so that the oil coats all the chicken. I'm going to add onion powder. Garlic powder. A little bit of salt. Oops, sorry about that, y'all. Some paprika. Some black pepper. And then I'm going to add in my pack of pesto. Before y'all say it, those of you who made this pesto before, this isn't the way the sauce says to make the, the sauce part, but this is the way I do it to get my chicken seasoned or shrimp, whichever one you want to do. Add a little bit more oil. <clears throat> All right, so that is coated, and I'm gonna cover it and sit in the refrigerator for a few hours, or even overnight. Okay, I forgot one thing. <clears throat> Trying to hurry up, y'all. And just put your garlic in. There. You could use, you could chop the garlic, but I just like doing this because I feel like. It really cooks into the chicken. Now when you're done, you want to wipe all, everything off. This is going in dish water. Okay, so there we go. Now we're gonna put it away. Okay, so I have some shrimp as well. So there we go. So you just follow the directions on the back of the pesto pack. Um, you just add some water and some oil together. I even add a little bit of chicken base in there when I get ready to cook it on the stove, but that's just me. You add whatever you want. It's really easy and it's flavorful. I can make pesto from scratch, but sometimes it's, it's okay to take a little help. So this is the pasta that I'm using. Um, just cook it according to the package you have. I have my pesto mix in a pot. And I'm just going to simmer it for a few minutes and I'm going to add in my chicken base, as I said before. And I'm just going to let this simmer for a few minutes, not very long. Um, it's just going to develop the flavors. You're going to taste it and season it if you like. Go easy with the salt because it already has salt in it. But um, yeah, you can add some garlic powder and everything like that in there too if you want. Okay, so you're just gonna let that come up to a simmer. 
You want to make sure you stir it well and make sure everything's well combined. Like I said, taste it. You can add garlic powder, onion powder, whatever you want to do. Okay, so after you have drained your pasta, seared your chicken, you're going to combine the pasta and the chicken together and just um, mix it well. And then you're going to add in your pesto. going to mix that really well and now pesto isn't supposed to be really thick like a tomato sauce it's supposed to be a very light sauce and it just and it does really coat the pasta well and then now I'm going to add in just some cheese you don't have to add cheese but I did add cheese because my kids love cheese so you can add in some mozzarella parmesan whatever you want to add and then I pop it in the oven I also sometimes add sun-dried tomatoes but there are no sun-dried tomatoes in the store. Y'all done bought up all the sun-dried tomatoes. And here's a final look at the shrimp pesto. It is done. I have garlic bread in the oven. I hope that each and every one of you are well. Okay, so this is it. It's done. Um, the pesto is not supposed to be a heavy sauce. It's supposed to just lightly coat the sauce. It gets inside the, pesto, the inside of the penne. So that is it. Hope y'all enjoy. I will see y'all next time. Bye.